this uh, video, Dvar Torah, is uh, hopefully reaching you sometime on Purim or before Purim, maybe even during the Purim Su'uda. Uh, one of my goals is just to be able to connect to you somehow on this uh, Purim of uh, more disconnection than normal. So uh, I have a Dvar Torah that I want to share with you. I hope this enhances your Purim and maybe even your Purim Su'uda. And that is something I've said many, many times. It's one of my favorite thoughts about Purim because I think it captures a lot of what Purim is all about. It's really interesting that the Shoshanas Yaakov poem that we sing, which contains all the characters and all the themes of Purim, Haman, Zeresh, Mordechai, Esther, we curse, we bless, um, and then at the very end of the whole thing, we say, V'gam charvona zechulatov. And also, charvona should be remembered for good. What did charvona do? He's the one who said, V'gam ha'etz asher hechin l'mordechai, hinei gavoch ha'mishimama. He says to Achashverosh, when he sees that Haman's in trouble, he says, yeah, and he also prepared this gallows for Mordechai. And then uh, Achashverosh says, okay, hang Haman on that. So Charvona is a turncoat. He's a guy who was quite happy to watch the entire Jewish people be destroyed when he saw Haman having the upper hand. When Haman then ends up uh, having the tables turned on him, then Charvona says, yeah, look, the gallows he prepared for Mordechai. So Charvona doesn't care about the Jewish people, but he ends up pointing out the gallows upon which Haman is finally uh, hung. So what's that all about? Why is the last thing that a person says on Purim, uh, you know, a person gets high and maybe even gets too high, and before he collapses on the floor uh, in a drunken stupor, he says, V'gam charvona zechulatov. That's the last thing that we say. That's like the, the ultimate final parting thought of Purim. He's the least of the characters that we really appreciate on Purim. So the answer is that it doesn't matter to us um, that Chavona himself didn't care. What matters to us is that he is somebody who initiated something that benefited us. And Purim is all about tracing things to the source. That's why the Gemara learns that Hamevi, Omer Dover B'Shem Omro, somebody who says something in the name of the uh, source, Mevi Geula Olam brings redemption to the world, because it says, Vatomer Esther b'shem Mordechai, Esther quoted Mordechai, and therefore, through all the chain of events that happened, Mordechai ends up getting rewarded, and Haman ends up um, uh, suffering. So, uh, the Purim is all about tracing things to the source. That's the whole idea of the Hastaras Panim, the fact that Hashem is hidden, and not overtly mentioned in the Megillah, and that was not overtly noticed. There were no open miracles in the Purim story. But the point is that the Jewish people sees Hashem behind everything. Our job is to see Him everywhere, and we trace everything back to Him. We realize that He's the source. And one way of doing that is the Midah of Hakaras Hatov, appreciation. And therefore, on Purim, we say, V'gam Chavon HaZuchul HaTov. We know that we owe Him something. It doesn't matter what His motivation was. He did something that benefited the Jewish people. And therefore, we say, V'gam Chavon HaZuchul HaTov. He should also be remembered for good because no Jew wants to go through Purim owing somebody or something something without recognizing it. And that's one of the major messages of Purim, is that we are here because Hashem wants us here. We're here in spite of the fact that natural law would have had us disappear a long time ago. We're here because Netzach Yisrael lo Yishaker, the eternal support of Klai Yisrael, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, never deviates, never falters, and um, we therefore show Hakar Satov to him, we trace our existence to him, we show Hakar Satov to each other because we need each other, we benefit from each other, and we are just, we're humble in the sense that we see what's behind the obvious and we credit our sources. That's the theme of Purim, that's the idea of seeing Hashem benister and hidden, and that's what we want to take out of Purim. So, I wish you all a wonderful Purim, a happy Purim, and uh, I hope everything goes well the rest of your day and a wonderful Shabbos.